So ready or not, the North Split closure is coming and it's happening sooner than you think. We've got a countdown clock right here below me three days until the North Split closes. So drivers need to be prepared for this major reconstruction project as soon as this weekend. Let's first break down what's happening at the heart of the crossroads of America. And now it's time to prepare as one of our state's busiest interchanges is set to close for a year and a half. First, the significance of this work. We'll hold off to the side. There's about 20 vehicles out here. All near the north split. The crews were doing their best to keep up with the potholes that would litter this section of the road. That one there is extremely dangerous. It's extremely deep. As WRTV previously reported after years of talk, the north split is finally getting a facelift. The North Split, as we see it today, was constructed nearly 50 years ago and is nearing the end of its lifespan. The North Split project will replace or repair 32 bridges over 3.1 miles of highway. New interchange will have a smaller footprint and work to eliminate that crisscrossing or weaving of traffic as I-65 and I-70 merge together. You're probably familiar with the darting across lanes of traffic if you're on northbound I-65 trying to get off at Meridian or Pennsylvania streets. Well, this new traffic flow aims to eliminate these traffic weaves to reduce bottlenecks and improve safety. Here's what's going away for good. Traffic on I-70 coming into downtown from the east side will no longer have access to the Pennsylvania Street exit ramp. Traffic on Delaware in downtown hopping onto the entrance ramp to southbound I-65 or the collector will be no more. As for this weekend, southbound lanes of I-65 and I-70 between the North Split and Washington Street are set to close on Saturday. That's according to a new release sent out over the weekend by INDOT. The full closure of the North Split will begin on Sunday. Well, the entire project, if on schedule, should reopen by November 2022. It's a lot of info, and we're going to break down everything you need to know about this project each morning this week. You can also read all the details at WRTV.com. Megan.